Hey guys, it's Kaz here, okay, Cats and Camera, and today I'm doing my gay movie recommendations. Now, rather than just picking out a few, I'm going to do exactly what I do with my books and go through every gay movie that I own. There are 20 here, so hopefully you'll find something that you haven't seen before. Also, I just want to take a minute to apologise because this video is meant to be up on Friday, but I had to do it overtime at work and then I didn't get it recorded. You know how it is. But to make up for that, not only am I also bringing you the TV recommendations, but I'm also going to be doing a video with short movie recommendations where every single short film can be found either on YouTube or Dailymotion. So look forward to that. It'll be in the next day or two. Anyway, let's just get started. First up, we've got a pretty classic gay film and that is Beautiful Thing. This is English, British. In this film, we follow Jamie and Stee who are next door neighbours and Stee has quite a hard life. His dad and his brother are really horrible to him and they verbally and physically abuse him. And because of this one night, he goes to stay at Jamie's house just to get away from them and from there a friendship and then more than a friendship blossoms. This film has a bit of everything, it has the drama, it has the, the love and the romance and it also has quite a bit of humour as well. One of their neighbours, Leah and Jamie's mum's boyfriend, Tony, are kind of the comic relief in this film so definitely check it out if you haven't seen it already. Next film is also English and that is Borstal Boy. This one follows Brendan. It's actually based on an autobiography by Brendan. So he's basically going on a bombing mission from Ireland to Liverpool. This is during World War II and he's apprehended and sent to Borstal, which is a reform institution for young offenders. And there he meets different people and if you're English, you probably know who Danny Dyer is, but Danny Dyer plays a gay sailor in this, so that's very different to what you probably know him from. This is quite heavily drama. There are some sad bits. There are also a few little humorous bits just to change it up a bit. So check it out. Stop it. Next up is one of my favorite films ever. This is so good. And that's Boys. This is from the Netherlands. It's Dutch with English subtitles. And oh my god, this is, I love this film so much. Also, can I just point out before I even start, it says 18 here, but it's actually a 12 or a PG or a whatever. But on this DVD, there's a short film included with a few of the same actors. And because that has violence and forefront and nudity, it makes the whole DVD have an 18, which it's kind of bad because the whole point of this film is to get out to younger people and then they've put a shot on it to make it 18. So if that's putting you off at all, it, it really is not an 18, it's like a 12. <laughs> this film follows Tiga, who is a track runner and him and his friend are paired up with two other boys so they can run the four... Do you have to bring it back up here and act like a dick? To run the relay race. One of the other guys is Mark and is really outgoing and adventurous and doesn't really care what people think of him. And because of that, Seager, who is quite quiet and reserved, starts to notice him and becomes a little bit intrigued by him. And from there, their friendship blossoms and then romance as well. This film, oh, it's so good. Please, please watch this. It's on UK Netflix. I don't know if it's on any other Netflix, but if you're from the UK, you can definitely see it there. I just love the way this is shot as well. The cinematography is so good in this. It's so crisp and HD and so in focus, I love it. And this, the way it's shot, there's a lot of close-ups and it just, it's so nice to watch as well. I really hope you like it and if you don't, then I don't understand how. <laughs> Next up is probably the most obvious one on here and that is Brokeback Mountain. This, of course, is American, as I'm sure all of you know. So this is about two cowboys who meet when they are on Brokeback Mountain looking after a bunch of sheep and from there obviously it becomes sexual and this follows quite a few years they go back to their lives their wives and yeah it's a really harrowing story but really good also don't forget it's a book honestly this is probably one of the only times I say it but I think the film is better than the book because the book is really thin and you don't get as much emotion from it 
but definitely check out both of these. Next up we have Crazy. This is a French Canadian film. This is basically a family drama. It follows this family from the 60s through to the 80s. They have five boys and then the mum and the dad and it's a lot to do with the drama. It's to do with our main character Zach and his relationship with his father because he really loves his dad but he's also coming to terms with his sexuality and he knows that his dad doesn't really agree with that sort of thing. Obviously it's set in the 60s and 70s and he's trying to live a lie and trying to be somebody who isn't but because of that he kind of becomes a bit more rebellious as he gets older and yeah it's just basically a drama following all this family. There's a lot of music in it so if you like Pink Floyd and David Bowie and things like that then this is very music based. Also when I was looking for a trailer of this the whole film's on YouTube so I'm going to look through all of the films that I am talking about and in the down bar below I'm going to put trailers to everything but some of the films might even have the full film there as well so check that out. Next up we have Dream Boy and This Is American. This follows Nathan, our main character, who moves to a, a new part of America and meets his next door neighbour Ray and they form a friendship. This one is really hard to watch, trigger warnings for physical and sexual abuse because Nathan's home life is not very nice at all and yeah there's a lot of things that go on throughout this whole film that are pretty harrowing so if that's not something that you feel you can watch then obviously give this one a miss. Again this one is a book by Jim Grimsley so check that out as well obviously we're on booktube so we all like books here. Next up we have Fashion Victims, this is German with English subtitles and this one is sort of a comedy so it's not as heavy as some of the other films that I've mentioned. This one follows our main character Carsten, his father Wolfgang is in the fashion industry business and there's sort of a, a nemesis, Stephen, who comes to town and brings his own business there and Carsten and Stephen kind of find each other and become a couple and it's this whole hilarious thing about him being with his father's nemesis and then trying to keep it secret from his father and whether or not he should split up with him and be on his dad's side or whether he should follow his heart and be with who he wants to be. So yeah this is kind of just a fun one. Next we have Get Real, this is English and honestly this was so hard for me to find at the time that I had to import this from another country in Europe. All of the back is written in a different language. This is British obviously and this follows our main character Stephen who is is at school, there's this whole everyone picks on him because he's gay but they don't really know that he is gay kind of thing and this is sort of your classic tale where he starts a relationship with the jock and things go from there, they have to keep it secret obviously and this one is quite a comedy film as well, we have his best friend who brings a lot of the sort of comedy moments in here. It's a nice sweet film, there's... Um, excuse yourself, why are you stretching up me? Yeah, this is an enjoyable film, there's a lot of sort of comedic elements to it. It's got a nice ending, probably not what some people want, but it's nice to show that side. I don't want to spoil it obviously, which is why I'm being really weird about it. But yeah, watch this, if you like sort of coming of age relationship. This is very much based around the relationship between him and John, the jock. So yeah, check it out. Next we have another English film and that is The History Boys. This one, it's not really got the sexuality bit as the main focus. It's basically about these group of boys who are all studying to do their exams so they can go to a good university after school. This is set in the 80s and we have all the different characters that you would want in this sort of film. We have the sort of Joker, who is James Corden. You might know him from The Late Late Show. We have sort of the the underdog who doesn't seem like he should be going to this clever Oxbridge schools. 
and that's Russell Tovey who you might know from Looking or Quantico. So we do have quite a few names in here but this came out over 10 years ago so it's when there were little known British actors. This is based off a stage play, of course it being in this list we also have one of the characters who is gay and we also, one of the teachers kind of likes the boys but they kind of don't mind but other people see it weirdly. You'll have to watch it to understand what I mean by that. Next up we have I Killed My Mother, this is French Canadian. So this is basically about Herbert, a 17 year old who doesn't have a very good relationship with his mother. He's very aggressive and annoyed all the time, he's very teenage angst but I think this is a great film. Some people probably don't like it because of that, he's not a very likeable character but that's not always what you want to see in your films and obviously he's gay that's why it's in this list and he does have relationships throughout the film but it's mostly about his relationship with his mum. This was the first film by Xavier Dolan who has done quite a few since this, you should definitely check out all of his work. He's really young but he's he directs this, he writes it, he produces it, he stars in it, he's just he's just super talented so you should definitely check out his other work. Next up we have I Love You Philip Morris, this one well you can see it's got Ewan McGregor and Jim Carrey in so it's very much a big Hollywood film that most people have probably heard of and this is based around Jim Carrey's character, it's apparently a true story, I don't know how much is fabricated and how much is true in this rendition but it's about him, he wakes up one morning and decides he's gay and he's becomes a bit of a con man, he falls for Ewan McGregor's character in prison and a lot of hilarity ensues, there's a lot of play in the system and criminal conduct going on throughout this but it is a fun watch, it's a bit over the top but that's probably I mean it's Jim Carrey, of course it's over the top. Next up we have Just a Question of Love, this is a French film and this follows our main character Laurent who is a 23 year old, he's out to everyone apart from his family and he lives with his best friend and she's kind of his beard if you will with his family but he ends up falling for this other guy Cedric who it's like a plant scientist, I don't know the official terminology, but he goes to work in this botanical garden things and he falls for him and it's about him coming to terms with the fact that his parents should know and he should be able to live his life how he wants to. There's a great tagline in this and that's it's not about male or female, it's just a question of love and I think that's a really nice sentiment, it's kind of mirrors the love is love sentiment that we have nowadays but this came out in 2000 so ahead of its time in that way I guess. Next we have Maurice which is another English film. This is also based on a book but I don't have it so I can't show you it. This is basically set in, it's pre-World War One, so it's when homosexuality was a imprisonable offence and this follows our two main characters Maurice and Clive who kind of start a relationship and fall for each other when they're at Cambridge University so obviously they need to keep their relationship a secret and then one of their friends is kind of outed and found out to be a homosexual so there's this big uproar about it so they kind of separate and try and get on with their lives and get married and stuff but Maurice finds it harder than Clive to come to terms with the fact that he doesn't want to get married and pretend to be straight so he sort of starts a relationship with somebody else and yeah that's where things go obviously I don't want to say too much but this one you should definitely watch because it shows you a sort of earlier side of homosexuality when it was illegal so it's definitely interesting to see things from that point of view and see how far we've come in society as well the fact that this many years ago you could go to prison and now in a lot of countries you can get married so obviously there's a long way to go for LGBT rights but we've come really far as well. Next is another English film and that's My Beautiful Laundrette. This is set in the Asian community in London in the 80s and one of our main characters Omar, his family owns a laundrette business but also some of his other relatives are a bit dodgy and do some wheeler dealer type things and 
he meets Johnny again who is somebody that he grew up with and was friends with and then he sees him again and they rekindle their friendship and relationship and Johnny belongs to a gang who is racist so there's a lot from both of their sides we've got Omar's family we've got Johnny's gang so there's a lot of push and pull and a lot of people that are against each of them and their togetherness so it's a great watch to see them try and overcome all of this obviously we've got Daniel Day Lewis who is a very big actor now so you should definitely check this out this is from quite a while ago when he was still just a small British actor next up we have Mysterious Skin this is an American film and this one is really harrowing and really hard to watch so if you're triggered by anything pretty much don't watch this it has violence and abuse sexual and mental and yeah there's a lot of things going on in here so don't watch it if you can't handle heavy topics but basically this is about two main characters it follows both of them at the same time of their life brian who when he was younger he has this space of a few hours that he absolutely can't remember what happened he was found bleeding in a crawl space and because of this his whole life he believed that he was abducted by aliens and that's why he can't remember what happened to him so his side of the story is him trying to find the aliens and trying to get in contact with them again and then we also follow Neil who remembers everything that happens to him and that's also shaped his life in a different way he's a street hustler he kind of doesn't really care about what happens to him in a way and a lot of horrible things happen to him on his side of the story as well because of the line of work that he's in of course and yeah both of these have had the same thing happen to them in the past and it's them sort of coming to terms with what happened and eventually meeting and trying to repair themselves again this is also a book by Scott Haim so check that out as well Next up we have Newcastle in Australia, it's just called Newcastle but maybe because England also has a Newcastle it's called Newcastle Australia over here but yes as you can guess it's from Australia and this one kind of has the sexuality part of the very much in the back of the story this follows three bro brothers and their surfing competitions and their friends and stuff like that but we have Jesse who is sort of the up and coming surfer who's gonna win all the championships and is really good at what he does and we have his older brother Victor who is a bit of a dick he used to be this big star but then something happened to him so he can't surf anymore and because of that he kind of takes it out on his brothers then we also have his younger brother Fergus who is the character coming to terms with his sexuality he's sort of an outsider with his friends group and they all kind of pick on him and this new guy that comes into the group Andy who Fergus starts to have feelings for. This is very much based around surfing, so if you enjoy watching that sort of thing, then definitely give it a go. Next up, we have North Sea, Texas. This is a Dutch film from Belgium, and this is a really nice film. This is one of my favourites as well. This follows our main character, Pim. It follows him from being quite young until sort of a teenagers. And it's basically about him and his life and his single mum who is a little bit over the top and kind of lets him do what he wants even though he's still quite young. We also have one of his neighbours, Gino, who he has feelings for. Is a really nice sort of quiet film. There's not too much drama going on. There's, there's obviously bits and pieces, but it's just a really nice film. I just, I love European films. They're just so much better than American ones and just the way they're shot and the way they're put together they're not scared to be quiet sometimes and I really like that next up we have Patrick age 1.5 this is a Swedish film it follows this Swedish couple who have been happily together for years and years and years and they've got to the point in their relationship where they want a child so they put in to adopt a child and on the adoption papers it says Patrick is age 1.5 but when they go there they find out that the decimal point has been put in the wrong place and he's actually a 15 year old who is a bit of a homophobe and a bit angsty because he's a teenager and obviously a lot of different things happen throughout this because of that little mistake so this is a nice fun comedy 
we obviously have bits and pieces in here which are a little bit more dramatic but it's mostly a comedy and this family sort of becoming a family and yeah it's just a really nice light-hearted film which is obviously quite different to a lot of the other films because a lot of gay films are sort of coming of age coming to terms with sexuality but in this we follow a couple that's been together for years and know who they are so it's a nice little change from that next up we have another film that is one of my favorites and that is shelter this is american and uh, this is such a good film seriously if you want a feel-good film with a happy ending then check this out but this basically follows zach a main character who has a bit of a a down home life not in a not really bad but he's kind of going nowhere he lives with his father who is a bit of a old drunk i think it is or is on something and his sister as well who has a child and she's a pretty terrible mum he does more looking after of the kid than she does and he wanted to go to off to university but he felt like he had to stay behind and look after the family and when his best friend gabe goes off to university gabe's brother comes back to town and him and zach kind of start up this friendship again which comes a relationship and this is just a great film we have the relationship between the two guys and also the relationship between Zach and his nephew is absolutely adorable so you should definitely check this out now last but not least we've got to the final film and that is Summer Storm this is German and it follows this group of people who race in boats and they go off to this camp where there's loads of different teams there competing and it's kind of a, a comedy we have one of the teams is called the Queer Strokes who every single member of them is gay and one of the members of the team that we're following is coming to terms with his sexuality so our main character Toby who I just mentioned is in this team and he kind of has feelings for one of his friends but when we go off to this camp he starts spending more time with his girlfriend so Toby kind of has to find other things to do and starts becoming a little bit annoyed with their relationship so this is kind of a comedy drama i think it's really good as well because a lot of people have this stereotype that germans are really angry so watch this film and you will see that there's a lot of silliness going on in here but it's also just a great film again don't forget to check out below where i will link the trailers for every single one of these and I'll link the film if I can find any of them on YouTube. Of course, there are a lot of films here that I haven't mentioned, like The Way He Looks and Weekend. A lot of really big films that I just don't own and sell that I haven't put in this. I've seen tons and tons and tons of gay films, but if you have any recommendations of your own, then please comment them below and I'll see if I've seen them or not. If this is your first video by me and you enjoy it, then please check out some of my others. I also have some gay book recommendations i've got part one and part two where i talk about over 50 books and series so definitely check them out again i'll link them below and yeah if you carry on enjoying what you see then please subscribe that'll be awesome don't forget to come back tomorrow and the next day where i will be talking about tv shows and also short films so look forward to those hopefully and yeah i'll see you tomorrow with another video bye